we're back again. And this time, I don't think it's, uh, I think this time is it. I think today my son will be here. Um, so Jazz is going back right now into the room to, uh, into the T-Raj, the t -raj room, whatever it's called. She went back there. They said I gotta wait like 10, 20 minutes, which is fine. But uh, yeah, today's the day. This morning or later on today, the one her water has broke. Uh, earlier this morning, around I would say around like 2:30, 3, around there. So uh, now we're just doing the waiting game. Let's do it. Let's see here. So it's about two, 2.35, we're still here. Uh, water still, so of course it's still broken. What the heck am I saying? Um, and the thing is just a waiting game, I guess. Uh, this time we're not leaving, give a damn. They say we're not, but I wasn't leaving in the first place. We getting this baby out, either today or whatever time we're gonna get this baby out. Um, yeah, give you an idea on where she's at. This is actually somebody else down here, but if you can see the JC, that is right there, that's where she at. Um, hasn't been on contractions in a while. I think it's all on jazz and her breathing. She ain't listening to me. I am breathing. But uh, everything's still working good. As you can see, the baby's still doing great. The uh, heartbeat is 149, 150. Um, yeah, but other than that, we're still here. Still here. Mom's been chilling with us. She's been grading papers like crazy. She's a teacher. Um, say hi, Mom. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> She's been grading papers like crazy. Oh, I had to step out here in the sun. Uh, who knows how long this process is going to be. But you know what? We're here to the end. Because uh, my son, he going to come. And uh, I'm not going home unless I have my son. And that's the facts. Uh, so we're just going to be in this, at this hospital waiting. And waiting some more. Cause uh, I guess babies take their own time, I guess. Let me start this over. Okay, so we're still here. She's sitting upright right now. Uh, she's been having a little bit more contractions sitting in that type of position. So she actually said that uh, she wants to stand up type of position. I went to the car to get some pillows and I don't know why I'm out of breath. But uh, yeah, all right. It's hard not to get your hopes up. But we are seeing progress right now, as you can see. Uh, these ones right here are your contraction lines, and they're just about four minutes apart, which is great. Uh, Jazz is listening to some music. Maybe it'll stimulate the, the, the birthing somewhat. So we're moving right along. Everything's going good. Um, Jazz has got a, it's got a creeping little fever trying to pop up, but uh, it's been steady, I guess, at 90, 93, 92? 99. Is that your fever? Mm -hmm. I thought it was lower than that. Mm -hmm. It was lower than that. It was like 92, 93. She said it. Huh? <laughs> Look at all this. <clears throat> so the only thing she was able to eat today is popsicles. I fed her a little piece of cookie. Hey. Don't be telling our secrets. <laughs> so hopefully she uh hopefully we get this baby thing going. So we could feed her and she can eat. 
How you feel with the progress? Um, I feel like I'm making progress. Feel like I'm making progress? I don't know how much progress, but. Right now, Jazz is uh, feeling a little hot, so we give her a nice towel to go on top of her head so she can feel a little bit better. Uh, we're still at four minutes apart, which is a good thing. Seeing some activity going on. Baby is not liking this position at all. And that's what's really happening. So, we're gonna get there. Mm -hmm. We did a nice pray, and after that prayer, this is when stuff started happening. We started seeing move, which is great. All right, so um, we just got some, some bad news from the doctor. The doctor said that her fever is not going down. Uh, so we're going to put her on some antibiotics. And then um, hopefully it goes down. Uh, he said he'll be back to check on her in a couple hours. And if it doesn't get better by then, then we have to move on to a C-section. I had to step out the room because it was like, almost got choked up. Because, you know, it's like you can't protect your wife at all. What do you do? So. I'm really hoping it's not a C-section. I just really hope my son just comes out to be healthy and everything like that. I just hope it's not the C-section. Right? But if it has to be done, then it has to be done because, you know, I gotta protect my wife and I gotta protect my son. Simple as that. Okay, it comes down to we need a C-section. We're on the way right now. They got jazz, they're going. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. So, we're gonna do this. Alright, so, like I said, we're going into a C section right now. Um, they got me all geared up and ready for it. Um, again, I'm, I'm nervous. But,. I can't really show her that I gotta I gotta be strong you know but it's, it's kind of hard to you know to see the person that you love go through anything you know you want her to be okay you want the baby to be okay you want everybody to be okay so it's kind of hard not to be nervous and not to feel that that that, that fear you know of somebody can just anything um so they got me sitting here waiting to get everything prepped and ready to go um yeah. but baby will be here hopefully that he's healthy uh, we prayed before we came in here. Uh, so, it's on the God's hands. I should have nothing to be nervous about, but you know what? I'm human. I'm human. He made me human. And he knows that we have these worries and stuff. That's why, you know. Uh, but, trust in him. Second day, uh, I know I didn't record anything last night. Uh, a lot of things were going on, a lot. Uh, we had to get the baby situated, get Jazz situated. But baby's doing great. Um, as you heard him in the background, I gotta be quiet. Shh, he's awake. Well, 
he hasn't had a real good rest. So we're trying to get him back to go to sleep. Uh, but yeah, uh, until I catch you, it's about, it's late. I don't even know what time it is. It's late at night. And when I catch you, I'll see you in the morning or something. Or when we're getting discharged. But yeah, go. So I'm excited. Today's the day we go home. Uh, baby's healthy, Jazz is healthy. Doc said we could go home yesterday. So we took the opportunity. She's on the phone with her mom right now. Her mom is trying to convince us to stay. I'm not trying to stay, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm ready to go home just as much as Jazz is ready to go home. Um, our sleep has been broken like every hour of the night to where we can't get no sleep. Well, I was getting sleep, she couldn't get no sleep. Uh, got all the bags here, about to take them all out. <sighs> I ain't never been so happy to go home. So, yeah, stay tuned. This is the food that they have gave um, Jazz. Um, yeah, pretty much. Oh, God, I'm dry. You can keep them hungry if you like. Well, we're not gonna really them. Oh my gosh. Some dry ass bread. I don't even think butter would have did it. I don't even think butter would have did that bread. That was some dry bread. I feel sorry for Jazz. I didn't eat it. You feel sorry for me. Sorry for you. Jazz has got no sleep. I got some sleep. She got a little bit of sleep. She didn't get sleep like me. I was up in there sleeping like a G. <laughs> I was being helpful. Whatever you needed, I was there. You have to wake me up. Other than that, we go. How do you feel, Jess? Alright, I'm ready to go home. Honestly, you ready to go home? The baby's eating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, we don't know if you want to fit the outfit. It's a newborn. Yeah. But it's still 20 inches, though. Yeah. It's still 20 inches. That's the finished product right here, as you can see. Uh, we're actually about to give him, put some clothes on him, and then get out of here. Get him in this newborn stuff. All right. So what we're doing? Uh, we're getting ready to go now. Uh, as you can see, he is not happy. But so we're gonna get him on this little clothes anyway. All right. So I'm gonna hurry up and do this video. We actually gotta calm now. Um, we're about almost ready to go. Jazz is back there getting dressed. Say what's up, Jazz. Yeah. Twerk for me. Look, she's still ready to twerk. That's my girl. <laughs> <laughs> Just came out of C-section and twerking. Ain't that something. But, uh, yeah, we're going to be moving pretty soon. Here goes the car seat. Car seat is right here. We got it all ready. I pretty much, as you guys know, packed everything in the car. Um, yeah. <laughs> It's time to go, and my hair looking crazy. I know, but I'm gonna do that right now and figure this out. Yeah, getting ready to go home. Thank you. Car, oh, we're ready to go home, on huh, baby Lowe's. Yeah, huh? What'd you say? I called him baby Lowe's by accident. Yeah. <laughs> see, see, that's yeah. what his name should have been. Baby Lowe's number two. No. <laughs> All right, Charmer Tim, my bad, my bad. Got my hopes up. All man. right, so uh, we're ready to go. He's all packed in the car. Seatbelt is fastened, and we out. Say bye.